We had a great cruise around Puerto Rico. I think it was one of our uh, best receptions with our online audiences and also with uh, all the visitors that we had visit us in San Juan. Keen interest in exactly what we were doing. Uh, lots of online activity with questions being asked as we were doing our dives. And it was just really wonderful to be part of all that. We worked uh, to the west in the Mona Passage and we worked to the east in the Anagata Passage and also south of the Virgin Islands. It was an amazing expedition. Uh, we accomplished a great deal of work. We collected over 100 samples. I think we did about 10 dives and uh, we went down to depths as deep as 3,000 meters and explored some very extreme vertical cliffs along some fault scarps uh, outside the Virgin Islands Basin and elsewhere around Puerto Rico. So in addition to the Mona Passage area, we worked to the east in the Anagata Passage area. There too is some very active geological faults, but it's also an area where the, uh, there's very deep water that spills from the Atlantic Ocean into the Caribbean Ocean. So those dives, uh, one of the focuses of those dives were on the biology and looking at the diversity of the biology from very deep depths of 3,000 meters or more all the way up to a, a couple hundred meters water depth, like at the Barracuda Ridge and the Nawat Seamount. We did get pulled off site a couple of times and we did have to abort one of the dives uh, when we were getting up too shallow. Uh, but for the most part, um, there's not any real risk as long as the weather cooperates and all the systems uh, on the ship technically are cooperating. It's really confusing. The whole area is sort of like a jigsaw puzzle made up of these different rock types and different uh, sort of uh, land masses that we know very little about. So we're trying to put the jigsaw puzzle together and really figure out uh, you know, what the geological history of the whole area is, uh, why, why it's changed over time, and uh, the sort of how it fits into the tectonic structure of the entire Northern Caribbean uh, plate boundary zone. So it's complicated and we, we now uh, picked up some rocks that are helping us to sort of put the puzzle pieces back together in the right way, uh, but it's still confusing. So uh, we have a lot of work to do yet on, on all these rocks and analyzing all the data and uh, reconstructing the uh, geology of the whole region. Earthquakes uh, are very uh, prone to happen around the Puerto Rico area. There hasn't been very large ones uh, recently. There was a big one in Haiti that caused significant damage. Uh, there, there probably will be some more big earthquakes around the Puerto Rico region. And so all of this work will help us to understand more about those processes and really help to make better plans and better, better predictions for the future uh, to hopefully save lives when, when these events happen and bring recognition to this area as a tectonically unstable area that's uh, prone to earthquake and uh, tsunami hazards. We had a great partnership with the U.S. Geological Survey uh, out of Woods Hole uh, in, in Massachusetts, and they, they, uh, they have been doing work there for about the last 20 years. So this is the first time they were actually able to use the ROV technology to go down and collect samples from exactly the location where they needed to collect the samples from. And we only collected a really relatively small number of samples compared to the whole overall uh, region that we're studying. So they're very keen to go back and do more work there, as are our colleagues from the University of Puerto Rico and other scientists in Puerto Rico that are studying the biology of the area. They would love to go back because we've really just scratched the surface.